Welcome to this episode of The Wrong Podcast, Died Appendages, Tubi Edition. And on these episodes, I let Rod pick all the movies. So if you don't like them, it's like when your parents cook something for Thanksgiving that you didn't like. You still ate it, but you maybe went to your bedroom and cried because they didn't love you. So if you don't love these movies, it's all Rod's fault. Wow. (laughs) We got our uh, November picks for Tubi. No, we don't have our November picks. This is a team effort, though. No, no. <laughs> this is like when the coach calls a play and the quarterback still throws an interception or a touchdown. We'll see at the end of your picks. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs? Did you say cheats? Kansas City cheats? Well, oh. it could be the cheats, <laughs> but who knows? My first category is action. And my recommendation is Black Hawk Down from 2001, starring Josh Hartnett, Ewan McGregor, Tom Sizemore, and Eric Bana. Synopsis, in 1993, an elite force of U.S. Rangers and Delta Force soldiers are dropped in Mogadishu to capture two top lieutenants of a warlord. But their plans go awry and they have to retreat. And if you're wondering, why didn't he say who the director is? Every, (laughs) Every month, Rod's like butchering these directors' names because... Who wouldn't butcher them? But I was like, maybe let's just leave that out. And then my need to check it out in the action category is Bullet to the Head from 2012, starring Sylvester Stallone, Jason Momoa, and Christian Slater. Synopsis, a New Orleans hitman and a Washington, D.C. detective form an alliance in order to bring down their common enemy. I've never even heard about this. I never have either, but that cast kind of is like, eh. it's an odd mix of a, a cast. You got a guy that was famous in the seventies and eighties with Stallone and then Slater from the late eighties to the nineties. And then Momoa. It's like you got different generations. Yeah. And they just don't seem to go together. Not really, but we'll see what happens. What do you got for us next? Was that like the celery or the meat and cheese tray? <laughs> I was like the. The appetizer. The appetizer, sure. The drama category, my recommendation, Full Metal Jacket from 1987, starring Matthew Modine, R. Lee Ermey, and Vincent D'Onofrio. Synopsis, a story about a U.S. Marine who goes through boot camp and straight to Vietnam during the war in the 60s. That's It's a great film. Love you a long time. Love you a long time, yeah. Me love you a long time. Now what's right me so right. horny. I was going to say, this is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for shooting, this is for fun, but we could probably just put, like, the clips in there, huh? This is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fighting, this is for fun. This is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fighting, this is for fun. My need to check it out, and I even own this movie, and I have never seen it, is Cool Hand Luke from 1967, starring Paul Newman, George Kennedy, and Lou Antonio. Synopsis, a laid-back Southern man is sentenced to two years in a rural prison, but refuses to conform. I've heard so much about this, but I've never seen it at all. No, it's not a Western? No, I don't think so. They didn't pop up in that category, but but Tubi does some weird mixing with different categories, so... Yeah, so this is like the the plate you get before you get your ham and turkey? This is that that shrimp, that cold shrimp plate? (laughs) That may be good or may make you sick later. What's the main course? Or We're we're getting there. We're getting mashed potatoes and stuffing. We're going with the comedy. And my recommendation is Mrs. Doubtfire from 1993, starring Robin Williams, Sally Fields, and Pierce Brosnan. Synopsis, a bitter divorce for an actor disguises himself as a female housekeeper to spend time with his children without giving away too much. I mean, but I'm sure most people have seen it by now. And my need to check it out is Hall Pass from 2011, starring Owen Wilson, Jason Sudeikis, and Christina Applegate. Synopsis, Rick and Fred are given hall passes from their wives to do whatever they want for one week. I mean, you've heard the term all the time. Oh, 
I got a hall pass for this, which it just sounds wrong. I've never seen this movie. Who's your hall pass? Well, I have a lot of hall passes right now since I'm single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but who would it be if you if you could? Are we doing okay? Celebrities? Anybody? Yeah. Well, maybe not celebrities. <laughs> I guess because a hall pass would be someone you have no chance with, which for you is everybody. So it could be anybody. Wow. <laughs> wow. I would say uh, Linnea Quigley back in the eighties. But now your hall pass now. Now who? Outside of Tony Miller, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> we love you tony uh i would say samara weaving gorgeous woman yeah 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 i know who she is yeah yeah mine has been for a long time selma hayek oh yeah she's she just stays gorgeous throughout the decades yeah selma hayek my next category is kids and family don't make me turn this car up this is what we did the first time. Recommendation, Little Giants from 1994, starring Rick Moranis, Ed O'Neill, and Devin Sawa. Synopsis, two brothers coaching Pee Wee football teams battle it out to see who is the best. I don't know if I remember. I've seen this movie, but it's been so long. God, I couldn't even remember what this. St- I mean, it's a, the Little Giants against the Dallas Cowboys, and Ed O'Neill is the Dallas Cowboys coach, and he's an asshole. But he's the brother, and he's had he's had it better than his brother has and i can't remember if it comes to a bet or something like that like whoever wins gets to play or coach it for the league we got next and my need to check it out is aliens in the attic from 2009 starring ashley tisdale robert hoffman and carter jenkins synopsis a group of kids must protect their vacation home from invading aliens i've heard of it but never seen a clip even yeah, I've seen this one, and it's perfect. In the words of my co-host on, I like it, spooky, gateway horror, drink. Yeah. <laughs> gateway, like science fiction, horror, X-Files, you know, gateways to all those things that are pretty much just gateways to scary movies. Love you, Clint. What else you got? Let's take it to a sponsor. Sp- a gateway sponsor? Our podcast network, the Prescribed Films Podcast Network. <laughs> listening to the prescribed films podcast network home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment the shows on this network all have a common goal providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media the pfpn hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com thanks for listening So now that we've heard from our podcast now we're getting it's time for the main course i guess we ate dessert with the kids and family first <laughs> like pumpkin pie watergate salad maybe Ew, what the <laughs> hell is that that was watergate salad well, look it up no i'm good i i'll stick with pumpkin pie but now we're the main course are you a ham or turkey guy rod both but man eh, i'd probably lean towards turkey oh see i'm a ham <laughs> and ham's better the next day with eggs and that explains a lot about you <laughs> i'm ham all day the final category sci-fi my recommendation is one of my favorites short circuit from 1986 starring ali sheedy steve gutenberg and fisher stevens synopsis a military grade robot goes haywire when it is hit by a bolt of lightning thus becoming alive johnny five is alive it's got a great sequel too. Great more than a woman. You know the song where they they dance. More than a woman. More than a woman to me. Oh, number five. <laughs> the thing I've seen lately about that film, though, is Fisher Stephen played. I believe in an Indian, like a, like from India. And he gets a lot of hate for that. I mean, I get it. Different time, different place. We talk about this a lot. You can't fault and hate on the film because one thing was wrong with it. I guess you can. Now you can, but what about all the people that were in it? They were great and put all this 
into it and you hate it for that i mean you had uh c thomas howe who was big in the 80s like he was in the outsiders and then he's in a lot of recent stuff so a lot of recent funny horror stuff but he was in a movie called soul man where he had blackface and that would definitely not fly my need to check it out is a movie called replicas from 2018 starring Keanu Reeves, Alice Eve, and Thomas Middleditch. Synopsis, a scientist becomes obsessed with bringing back his family members who died in a traffic accident. I've never even heard of this. I mean, I I love Keanu, but this one just went by me. When was it from? 2018. So, I mean, six years ago. Yeah, that's weird. Like right before John Wick came out. Right, yeah. And now most people, and like between the Matrix and, yeah, hmm, that's weird. That is probably the Watergate salad of this episode, because <laughs> no one knows what the fuck you're talking about but you. It's all right. <laughs> I'll get these um, out there, my reviews on my the need to check it out. Like I've said before, expect it to be gone by the end of the month. Yeah, jump over to Tubi. If there's something you want to see, jump over fast. Get it watched. Let us know what you think. If you think Rod's making poor recommendations, say, try something different, Rod. Roll the dice or use this wheel thing on random.org or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, come back on Thursday for our horror recommendations and come back every month for Rod's recommendations on the 2B appendages. The wrong podcast died. Yeah. That's kind something of like that. I don't even know what the name of it is. Complicated. I ate too much pumpkin pie. <laughs> Stay tuned for I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast main episodes, The Wrong Podcast Eyed main episodes, appendages, our appendages indie shorts that we're putting out, indie spotlight. Sounds like it'll be coming back in in December. Yeah, we're, we're taking a little break because we're busy. God damn. We just got through Halloween. I ate like 10 pounds of candy. <laughs> I was in a diabetic coma for a couple days. I need a break. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Love to eat turkey because it's good. Love to eat the turkey like a good boy should. Cause it's turkey to eat so good. That marks the end of our broadcast day here at The Wrong Podcast Died. Our transmission is powered by a frequency of 800 watts. We will resume our usual programming in two weeks. Until then, we bid you good night. <laughs>